Hey everybody, welcome back to the Galloway Farm. Jared and Caitlin here. Sun finally came out, so it's time to do some chores around the house. Welcome to the vlog. Step one to getting anything done around the farm is wearing your baby. So number one in our to-do list is to take this little rabbit hutch apart. Um, it came with the property when we bought it and it's kind of fallen apart. So we're just gonna see what's still salvageable once we take it apart. And then we're going to try and use it for um, a little duck house when we get our ducks soon. Hank's just hanging out, as usual, and sunbathing. Say, hey, Hank. Hey, Hank. Hey, buddy. Hey, Hank. Here you go, pig. Waylon, what are you doing? Not sure. <laughs> Back to napping. Let's go see the chickens. Hey, chickens. Hey, chickens. We brought home collard leaves yesterday for my brother's garden to see if our chickens would like those and they seem to like them so that's good. So while Jared's working on the duck house slash rabbit hutch construction, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what project I have going on in the house. Also for those who haven't seen on our Instagram, we recently made over our laundry room and I am so in love and it looks so much better than it did. Okay, so it's kind of a disaster, but this is what we're working with so far. Um, it started out this lime green color, not cute. <laughs> so um, what I'm planning to do is paint almost the whole bathroom this whitish color and then we're gonna do on the bottom here, kind of like a wainscoting or board and batten, whatever you would call it. Um, but this is the pretty green color. And then we're just gonna paint the rest white. And then I'm so excited to decorate. This is gonna be Addie's bathroom slash our guest bathroom. So it is much needed uh, for an update here. All right, so Addie just went down for a nap, so I'm gonna get started on dinner. I'm gonna be making a roasted chicken with potatoes, so I'm gonna show y'all how I do that. All right, so I've got my chicken here. What I did was cut out the backbone, and then um, I took out all the insides, so I'm just gonna set it flat on my skillet here, and I'm actually gonna press down to help break the bones just to make it flatter. 
All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and cut my potatoes and put them in the skillet. All right, I actually think that is enough potato. So I'm gonna stop adding there. And next we're gonna season the chicken. So what I'm gonna do first is pry the skin away from the meat. Just make a little pocket there. And the same thing on this breast. And we're gonna try to do the same thing here. Alright, so now we're going to season. So for our seasonings, I'm using um, this just complete seasoning. It's got garlic, onion, a whole bunch of different flavors in it. And then I'm also going to add some garlic salt because we love garlic here. <laughs> I'm actually going to season twice. I'm going to do this first layer of seasoning. And then I'm going to add some melted butter to the skin and then add some more seasoning after that. Just a little bit of garlic salt. Okay, so now I'm going to just get a little bit of the complete seasoning, open up that pocket that we did earlier, and just kind of dump the seasoning in there and stuff it. This really helps the chicken soak up all that flavor. All right, so now we're gonna add on the melted butter. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a basting brush here and I'm gonna brush the butter onto the skin of the chicken. It may take off a little bit of the seasoning. That is okay because we're gonna season it again. I'm just gonna make sure that I get every bit of the chicken. This butter is gonna help make the skin extra crispy. I'm also going to add some butter to the potatoes as well. You can never have too much butter. Alright, so I've used all my butter, so I'm going to go ahead and season again. And this time I'm going to season the potatoes as well. I'm 
and I'm gonna get in those pockets again too. And that is it. So now I'm going to put it in our oven at 400 degrees. And I'm going to cook it for about an hour until the internal temperature is 165. So this is what we got done, or the beginning of what we got done, with tearing down the old rabbit hutch. And uh, we're going to use that to make a new duck house, as Caitlin said earlier. But let's see if I can get some better lighting. The, uh, the plan is to tear this thing down. We got, the, uh, we got the front and the roof completely taken off of it. So now it's just finishing the demolition and then seeing what we can use and what we're not gonna be able to use. The good news is, is that right now, this is all the wood that's non-usable. And it's because it has some termites. You can see them kind of in that area. It's got some termites and stuff around it. But all of this stuff over here is gonna be salvageable maybe not these hinges and things but all of this will be able to reuse and here's almost the whole roof i was able to take out just a couple of rafters and then take that cross beam off the top there everything else came off with it but here's what it looks like now I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss what's going on here around the farm. Now we're going to go enjoy this chicken. Thanks guys. Bye.